All right, dickheads. This is a whole throne on um the theme park. So the lineup is going to be Mira, Mew, Kaze, Jaeger, and Maestro. We're going to start with Mira. She's got the most basic hold. So Mira reinforces here. Mira reinforces here, and then places a black mirror here and here. Uh, Mira brings a nitro cell, so her setup is at this point pretty much done. Um, she then shotguns the wall out so that the removes the flesh around the black mirror for easy peeks. Reinforces here, and then gives it a double knock on top so that Mira can safely transfer between both mirrors. Um, and then easily push out as she gets under any pressure. Mira then has to come and open up here. And here. Mira spends the entire game playing um, behind her mirrors. And that's her hold. Up next we've got Mute. Mute reinforces here and here. He then places one jammer on the floor there. He then places another jammer by the door here. And one more jammer on the floor over here. We are no longer muting the mirrors because on theme park, Habana is our band operator. So there is no need to then mute the mirrors. Mute's final mute charge gets placed here by cash door. Finally, Mute has one bulletproof camera and he places that behind throne. And that bulletproof cam just goes right here to give us a line of sight through back of throne. Up next, Mute comes upstairs and comes over into office where Mute will be playing for the entire round. Mute will then make a rotate here to give him an exit strategy if he needs it. He will also make a rotate here. And a rotate here. Going to open cash hatch. Up next we have Maestro. Maestro will be playing behind throne. And he'll place one bubble on the wall here. And a second bubble up here, watching the back of Armoury. Maestro will reinforce here and here. And he'll be playing with impact grenades as he's supposed to nitro trick any thermite charges through the mirror shotgun holes. Up next, we have Cade. Cade will be reinforcing here and here. Cade will place one barbed wire here and one more barbed wire here. He will place the electro claw here and his final electro claw here. Cade is doing a close roam, so normally I like to play Cade either in Gong or behind Tellers, um, which can either be used to help pressure Dragon Stairs if they are doing a Dragon Push. Or, if what's more likely, if they're pushing cash or cafe and pressuring our roamers above, Cade can either then respond up dragon stairs or up yellow and arcade appropriately. Up next, finally, we have Jaeger. Jaeger has three ADS charges. One goes here, covering the maestro. One goes here, covering the mirror. And the final one goes here in the middle of sight. Jaeger has two barbed wire, one of which goes here, one of which goes here. And then Jaeger comes upstairs into office and reinforces here and here on office wall. Uh, while Mute will be playing in office, Jaeger will be playing in cash a lot more aggressive to pressure crash to, to pressure cash door and try and hold the hallway from anyone dropping security. He then will also have this rotate to come back into office if he gets pushed, or he can drop down um, Teller's hatch to re to rotate up Dragon Stairs. Um, Jaeger and Mute, this is supposed to be held. You can't let them get in here because the moment they start destroying this, we've lost our bandit batteries on or our mute charge on North Wall. And from here, 
we're going to start losing our mirrors. So, Mutant Bandit have to hold this for as long as possible. But, if you hold and there's like a minute left in the round and you're still alive, feel free to rotate down. Because once there's a minute left, and if you roamers are not dead yet, it's likely that they've failed to push you effectively, and that you now can rotate away and push towards back to site, because they're going to likely give up on trying to open up North Wall or destroy the mirrors, and go for a last minute push somewhere else. Uh, so yeah, hold the site. Hold upstairs, because we you need to protect the mirror. And that's how you hold throne.